Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm Eric Sue, And I'm Neil Patel. And today we are going to give you the introvert's guide to networking. So, Neil, are you an introvert? I don't think so. Are you? I'm an introvert. Yeah, I, I've a, I'm an INTJ. I didn't know that. I don't think I'm an introvert. I could be wrong, but I have no idea. Well, I mean, so what, I, I guess I'll go then because I'm the introvert here. So for me, I mean, approaching networking in the past, in the very beginning when I was first starting out, I would go to these, basically I would say, okay, you know, I'm looking to get into digital marketing. I want to meet more people in it. I would basically go to meetup.com and I would type in relevant keywords such as digital marketing or entrepreneurship, for example. And I, dr- I would drag my friend along with me who actually is a very successful digital marketer now, but we were still very new in our career. And we were wor- both working on a digital marketing agency. And we're like, okay, how do we go beyond this? How do we do more? And so we we're both hungry for that. And the first event that we went to, we had no idea what we we're doing. We we're kind of wallflowers. We we're kind of sitting in a corner, didn't really know who we should be talking to. So we, we kind of just like stood on our own. And then we realized that there were other introverts like us. So what we would do, one of the first things we would do is we would approach the wallflowers out there. And we basically had this five second rule too, where if we felt like we should talk to someone, we just go in there and approach them. Even if they were in a group, we'd go in there and approach them because you'd find most of the time people are very receptive to meeting other people. So we just introduce ourselves and then learn more about them. What you'll find is when you talk to people that you don't know, just get them to talk about themselves more. When, when they're talking about, you know, hey, like, you know, what are you up to? How can I be helpful? You're basically starting a relationship that way. And you're trying to relate to them as much as possible. And Neil, I actually want to turn this over to you because you're really good at relating with people. What do you do to try to relate with people more? Storytelling. You need to find out about their past, find out about their history, and you need to try to talk about stories or events in your life that are relevant to theirs. When people feel that they know you more, for example, we were all at a dinner yesterday. And one of the guys who was with us, his name is Chirag, he was just like, oh, yeah, I grew up in Detroit. And my buddy uh, Matt, who was also with us, was like, oh, yeah, I also grew up around Detroit. Where did you grow up? And because I came from a similar town, they just started talking, getting along, and it works really well. Now, they didn't do it on purpose, but that's what happens. When people feel that there's some sort of commonality, they're much more likely to get hooked into you. They're more likely to feel connected. They're more likely to want to do business. People like doing business with other people that they like. Now, you don't want to pry and be like, hey, by the way, did you have a treehouse? I had a treehouse. Like, that's really awkward, and you don't want to get to know people that way. It's more so as they start talking, you can fi- figure out really quickly if there's anything similar that you've done or similarities. And you don't want to just talk to them about business. You want to talk to them about personal stuff. Like if you're at an event around marketing, it's like, oh yeah, what do you think there's to do for fun around here? Like, or what do you enjoy for doing for fun? Right. And that'll give you ideas of what they like or what they don't like. And then, then you can start talking about similar things. Yeah, and the other thing I'll say too, if you're starting out, don't think that you need to necessarily go meet everyone. There's always that one person that's at an event that's rapidly handing out cards, right? Boom, 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 boom. I'm handing you know 50 cards out. At the end of the day, they haven't they've hit the breadth, but they haven't gone through the depth. They haven't you know tried to establish real relationships, real connections with maybe like a couple people, right? So my thing with these, especially if you're starting out again is to focus on building one strong relationship. You start out that way, one strong relationship, that's going to lead to more things. You're going to gain momentum. You're going to gain confidence. Now, if you don't even want to go to events, that's fine. You know, Neil and I, we go to conferences all the time now, but once you start to get the juices going, you'll probably end up going to more events. But I think if you're starting out too, Neil just brought up the concept of of dinners, right? Neil and I were at a dinner yesterday. You can throw dinners with like-minded people. You can call them masterminds of, uh, you know, maybe once a month or so. And you can even tell some of the people to, to, to bring, an, bring a plus one. So it could be like an entrepreneur, it could be like a marketer. I would highly recommend that you Google Mastermind Dinners. This is by a guy named Jason, uh, I'm going to butcher his last name, G- Gagnard or Gagnard. Google Mastermind Dinners and there's a PDF there, literally a checklist that you can follow for throwing these dinners of like-minded people. And that in itself is networking because you're just meeting people. So for all you introverts, I've dealt with them so many times because I have a you know, few of them who work for me within my company or more than a few. You know, as Eric mentioned, don't want to go to events, that's fine. Go with someone. Someone, if they need to drag you a line, that's okay. Someone needs to hold you accountable. 
Number two, it's not about how many people that you're meeting. It's about quality. But at the beginning, go just try to talk to a lot of people and get more business cards. What you'll find is that'll open you up and that'll get you to talk to more people. Number three, don't recommend this, but it works for some people. Some people on my team like drinking some alcohol before they start doing the networking and talking. It loosens them up and it makes them much easier to talk to, to jive. I'm not saying get drunk, not saying get buzzed, but a few sips does help people. Again, not recommending this, just works for some. Number four, once you're doing the networking and you do this a few times, then you're used to talking to people. Now you want to start with something more detailed. So instead of just trying to get a business card, then start talking real conversations with people, get to know them, their business, try to help them. And from there, you'll build real relationships. When you're approaching people and you're first starting off, Don't go for the groups. It's going to be the most intimidating. Go for people who are by themselves because it's probably another introvert and it's easier to communicate with them. And as you get used to dealing with individuals, then you can start communicating with people who are in much bigger groups. Great. So that's it for today. But before we go, go to singlegrain.com slash giveaway to get access to our marketing tools to help you grow your business. See you tomorrow. This session of Marketing School has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.